Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 7, Unit 2, Prose, A Story of Self-Sacrifice and Bravery. Book Back Exercise, Part 3. Dear children, we have already discussed Part 1 and Part 2. Now we are going to do from Use Grammar. I section. Discuss with your partner and punctuate the following. First one is, The woman said to the student, Please help me cross the street. So when you write the answer, start the sentence with capital. Okay. And after student, you can put comma, then open quotes. And next letter should be capital. And ending with full stop and close the inverted commas. The woman said to the student, comma, open quotation, Please help me cross the street. Second one. Sarathi said, Oh, how thrilling it was. So, Sarathi is capital. After said, comma, open quotation. Oh, exclamatory mark. How thrilling it was. How, H, capital letter. And after was, you can use exclamatory mark and close the inverted commas. Third one. The teacher said to the students, Where do you want to go? The teacher. The T, capital. The teacher said to the students, comma, then open quotation. Where do you want to go? Put it inside the quotation mark. And it, since it's a question mark, you can end with question mark. Fourth one, I am tired, Mohana said to her aunt. I am tired, comma, and I am tired is the direct word, okay. So you can put this inside quotation mark. Mohana said to her aunt. Full stop. Fifth one. Shankar said to his teacher, Madam, I had prepared my project assignments, but I forgot to bring it. So, Shankar S. Capital. Shankar said to his teacher, Kama. Open quotation. Madam, Kama. I. Capital letter. I had prepared my project assignment, but I forgot to bring it. You can use full stop. And close the quotation mark. Okay. Next one children. Complete the sentences in reported speech. For example, I admire you. She said that she admired me. So, I admire you. This is the real wording or direct one. So, she said that she admired me. So, I admire you. I want the she amar the you want the me amar. Okay. Now, sentences will do. It is too late. I said that it dash too late. So, the answer is, I said that it was too late. Okay. Next one, children. I met you yesterday. So, how will you write? Sam told me that he had met me the day before. Third one, I cannot come. So, Mala said that she could not come. I will play tomorrow. He said that he would pay the next day. Fifth one, the Himalayas are the highest mountain ranges. So how will you write? He knew that the Himalayas are the highest mountain ranges. Sixth one, I may lend you some money. Balu promised to lend me some money. Seventh one, I have been watching a film. He said that he had been watching a film. Eighth one, I have not done it today. I explained that I had not done it that day. Ninth one, I was with him last week. Jimmy said that she had been with him the previous week. Tenth one, I will finish this picture tomorrow. Jodi said that she would finish that picture the next day. Okay, children. Okay, moving on to section N. Read the following dialogue and report it. Betty and Kitty, both of them are talking. What are you doing here, Kitty? I haven't seen you since June. Kitty says, I have just come back from my holidays in Darjeeling. Betty, did you enjoy it? Kitty says, yes, I enjoyed. I love Darjeeling. The landscape is amazing. Betty, did you go to Leot Botanical Garden? Kitty says, yes, it was my first trip. I can show you some pictures. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Betty says, I must arrange a couple of things. But 
I am free tonight. Kitty says, you might come to my place. What time shall we meet? Betty says, I'll be there at 8. Is it all right? Okay, this is the conversation. Now we are going to write in the reported speech or indirect speech. Original words illa ma, same meaning I'll know. Betty asked Kitty what she was doing there. And she added that she had not seen her since June. Kitty explained that she had just come back from her holiday in Darjeeling. Betty asked if she had enjoyed it. Kitty told her that she loved Darjeeling and that the landscape was amazing. Betty wanted to know if she had gone to Liot's botanical garden. Kitty said that it had been first trip and that she could show some pictures. And then she asked her if she was doing anything the next day. Betty explained that she must arrange a couple of things. But she added that she was free that night. Kitty suggested that she might come to her place and asked her at what time they would meet. Betty said she would be there at 8. And finally she asked if it was alright. Okay children. Okay moving on to language checkpoint. It means what we should tell, what, what we should see. And its usage. Till. My friend told me that he was making dosa. So this is not right. How we should tell? My friend said to me that he was making dosa. Okay. He told Badila said to me. Usage in When we use see, we use to before the object. If there is an object. Next one. If and whether usage. I don't know if Nancy wants tea or coffee. Weather means I don't know whether Nancy wants tea or coffee. Usage is when we use weather, you are only offering two choices. The two things you say, tea or coffee. But when we use if, if there is another possibility as well as the two choices, there is a third. The next one is command. The traffic police ordered to obey the traffic rules. So the command liya, the Traffic police commanded to obey the traffic rules. Usage. An order is a direction to do something with an implied threat attached to it. A command is a direction to do something with no threats attached. Fine children. Okay. Now moving on to writing section. Read the story of Nirja Banot. Make notes based on the table and complete it. Okay. Nirja would like notes you have to write. So, what is her name? Name is Nirja Banot. Father's name and occupation? Hanish Banot, a journalist. Mother's name and occupation? Rama Banot. Born on? When was she born? 7th September 1963. Nationality? Indian. Which state she belongs? State? Punjab. City? Chandigarh. Okay, now education. School, where did she have? Sacred Art School, Chandigarh. Then Scottish School, Bombay. College, St. Xavier's College, Bombay. Career, Modeling and Flight Pursuer. Personal life, married in March 1985 but divorced after two months. Siblings, two brothers. Her achievements, selected among 10,000 applicants to be a flight attendant in Pan Am. Became senior flight purser in a short time. Third one, the hero of the hijacked plane. Awards, Ashok Chakra Award from India. Justice for Crimes Award from America. Tamgei Inshiat Award from Pakistan. Legacy, Nirja Banot, Pan Am Trust. Died on September 5, 1986. Place of death, Karachi. Okay, all right. Moving on to creative writing. Heroes are ordinary people who do extraordinary things. Write an anecdote on the extraordinary deed of Jaiswal KP who helped in the recent Kerala flood. Use the tips given in the box. So, ipo namai na pandronaka or anecdote. Or nyabagartam. Or nadad sambavum. First of all, anecdote na inna. 
an anecdote is a brief revealing account of an individual person or an incident consider these questions to write an anecdote okay questions paathittu adukke etha mari edhina it will come who was involved in the story what happened when did it happen is this relevant where did it happen how is it relevant idile yaar involved la irukranga enna nadandhathu eppo nadandhathu appo enna nadandhuchuna la edhrom shall we do children okay kp jaiswal a fisherman from tanras involved in the story he turned himself into a footstep for a few women who to board a rescue boat so ipo ivunga vandu vellathila tattalikira makkalukku he was like a rescue boat nalla help pandranga it happened during the floods of august eppo nadandhu when ketirukanga liya appo during the floods it is relevant now to show how an ordinary man can become a hero to save the life of many innocent people during natural calamity in appreciation of his deed he was given a fiber speed boat by multinational carnival group so the way he was acting the way he was doing all the work everybody was really uh, amazed avanga bayangara ஹாப்பியாக இருந்தாங்க அவங்களுக்கு என்ன கொடுக்குறாங்க ஏ ஃபைபர் ஸ்பீட் போட் ஹூ ஹூ இஸ் கிவிங் மல்டி நேஷ்னல் கார்னிவல் குரூப் ஃபைன் சில்ட்ரன் ஸோ எவ்ரிபடி இஸ் டூவிங் ஹெல்ப் பட் திஸ் இஸ் லைக் அ லைஃப் சேவிங் ஜெஸ்டர் ஸோ தட்ஸ் வை திஸ் ஹீயர் தட் இஸ் வை ஹி பிகேம் அ ஸ்பெஷல் ஹீரோ ஓகே நவ் சில்ட்ரன் வில் டூ த மைண்ட் மேப் அண்ட் கன்சாலிடேஷன் பார்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெட் எஸ் சி த கன்சாலிடேஷன் பார்ட் ஓகே the story of self sacrifice and bravery a brave flight assistant neerja of pan am flight saved the lives of passengers at the risk of her life when the flight was hijacked adha inda ponna neerja thannoda uyiriyum paakama mathavangala kaapathranga passengers from different countries boarded pan am flight hijackers wanted to kill the americans they asked nirja to collect all the passports to get details so inge irukra hijackers ellorada passport collect panna to to get details in the country enna ivunga details paakradhukku she collected it and threw it in the rubbish chute ava collect pandra avanga kitta kudukla enna pandra rubbish chute la podra she saved 39 americans hijackers wanted to crush the plane in israel so hijackers ku ore thinking in the plane israel la poi uh hij pannidnu crash pannidnu pandranga neerja alerted the pilots to escape pilots escaped hijackers assaulted her pilots naisa tapichitanga okay tapichitanga means eva alert pannanaala the plane ran out of power they opened fire at the passengers passengers mele fire adikranga she tried to evacuate many passengers but she could not escape ava nariye per kapathi vidra she came to save three children and received bullet and died so kashtapadu mathavangala kapathumbodhu she died neerja was born on 7th september 1963 to rama banot and harish banot in chandigarh She had education at Chandigarh Sacred Heart School then Bombay Scottish School got graduated from St Xavier's College She started her career in modeling applied for flight attendant job with Pan Am flight Neerja's bravery is acknowledged by the government of India Pakistan America She was awarded Ashok Chakra A postal stamp was issued in her name, Justice of Crime Award. Her parents set up Neerja Banat Pan Am Trust. Fine children, now let's see the mind map. Now we'll do the mind map. A story of self-sacrifice and bravery. Neerja was born on 7th September 1963. Her parents, Rama Banat and Harish Banat. but not a journalist she studied at sacred art school and bombay scottish school 
graduated from St. Xavier's College. Her marriage was a disaster. She left her husband at the age of 22. She did modeling and trained as a pursuer. She became a senior flight pursuer, saved passengers when flight was hijacked by armed terrorists. She alerted the pilots to escape, hit by bullets, fatal by the terrorist. The wounds were fatal, so she passed away. Her act of bravery acknowledged and rewarded. She was awarded at the Ashok Chakra Award, India's highest honor. Parents set up a Pan Am Trust. Let's see another one mind map. A story of self-sacrifice and bravery. Nirja Banaut. Life history. Born in Chandigarh. Became a model. Pursuer training in London. Senior flight pursuer of, at the age of 22. Her awards we can tell. Ashok Chakra Award. Postage stamp in 2004. Justice for Crimes Award 2005 Tiangi Inshiat Award by Pakistan Her Heroic Act She was killed by the terrorist She rescued 39 passengers out of 41 She acted bravely The flight was hijacked in 1986 She was the flight attendant and that was a brave act.